ALC. What is up, everybody? Watch Cup 23 here today. Going to talk about Greg Oden going to the Miami Heat. This happened a few days ago. He signed a two year deal. Don't know exactly how much money he signed for, but I do know that he signed a two year deal with the Miami Heat. Now, is that a good move or a bad move for the Miami Heat? Um, it's not a, I mean, listen, it's a very high risk, a potential high risk, but a very low, or excuse me, a very uh, a low risk, high reward situation. There's really no risk, in my opinion, at all in this deal because the Miami Heat are still the favorites with or without Greg Oden. But potentially it could be a very big reward because he could give them that size and rebounding inside that they've been needing. Bosch is a good player, but to give them that true seven footer who can who can play great, defend the basket, from what we've seen of him in the NBA, hopefully he can stay healthy. If he stays healthy, that's the key. If he stays healthy, um, he could give them ten and ten. He can give them ten points, ten boards on a good night and he could also take some pressure off of LeBron James uh, not pressure but just some of the you know give LeBron James a little bit more uh, rest as far as not having to carry that load so much because LeBron does have to do a lot of the rebounding he obviously gets most of the assists he obviously gets most of the, or he scores the most on the team as well um, so to get a, a true seven footer who can play great D you know listen if, if Greg Oden performs uh, the way he can you know if he stays healthy and whatnot uh, then the heater will be unstoppable I don't even see, you know, the Pacers especially, I don't think, see them beating them because Greg Oden, and, Greg Oden and Roy Hibbert, that would be a more even matchup than it would be with, you know, Bosch Garden, uh, truly. And honestly, wow, I just got dunked on by Nicholas Batum. I need to get off this game. Um, but anyway, but it's a it's a low risk, again, because the Heat are going to be good without him. They, you know I mean? He's, they're, not, they're not signing him to change the landscape of their team. They're just signing him to see if he is healthy, to give them that extra big body and that that tall, that length in, inside, a good defender of the basket, kind of like Birdman. And I'm guessing he'll be starting. If he's healthy, I'm guessing he's going to be starting. It is the obvious choice if I'm Greg Oden. Uh, maybe you go to the Spurs. You can play alongside Tim Duncan and learn how to play better. And uh, you know, but either way, Heat or Spurs, it really wasn't to me. There was no choice. Uh, there was really no decision. It was going. To, I would have gone to the Heat as well. The two-time champions, more than likely going to be three-time champions. Uh, we'll get into that in a different video, but definitely a, a great pickup for the Miami Heat. Uh, leave a comment down below on what you think uh, the Miami Heat should have done if they made the right move, wrong move, if Greg Oden made the wrong move. I'll leave all my information, TGN's information, down in the link down below. Um, make sure to follow me on Twitter. I'll post. I'll start posting more and more on Twitter of uh, updates on when I'll start uploading things like that. Uh, just haven't been. I've been a little bit busy with soccer and things like that, so. Definitely want to get some FIFA videos out. I know FIFA 14 and Madden are coming out. Madden, I'm going to be doing a Madden news video because uh, Madden's got some news for us about Ultimate Team for the new game and all that kind of stuff. So I uh, definitely want to uh, bring or get you guys that news out here. But anyway, this was Watch Your Story 3 signing out. See you guys later.